Assalamu alaikum everyone. I'm Sandrina from junior section Lala Zar. I hope you all are doing well and taking good care of yourself. Students, today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic that is articles presented by Ms. Noreen Rizwan and Ms. Sandrina Mushtaq. When we talk about English language, we have 26 number of alphabets in which 5 of them are vowel sounds, A, E, I, O, U, and rest of the 21 are consonant sounds. When we talk about articles, we have three articles, a uh, and the. Basically, an article is a word that modifies or describes a noun. It is used before the noun to show whether it refers to something specific or not. Over here, I have identified a part of speech that is noun. So it actually tells us that an article is used before a noun. When we talk about article a and an as shown in the following picture of this a boy and an elephant a boy begins with b sound that is a consonant sound so i have used a article whereas elephant begins with e sound that is a vowel sound so i have used an article so it's an elephant when we talk about types of articles, we have two types of articles, indefinite one and a definite one. In indefinite article, we talk about a and an, whereas definite article tells us about the article. Indefinite articles, article a comes before the singular noun starting with a consonant sound. For example, a chair, a boy, whereas an article comes before the singular noun starting with a vowel sound, for example, an elephant. Over here, two examples are given right in front of you. In the first example, you can see that it's an honor to meet you, not it's a honor to meet you. Because when we use an instead of a, it comes before a vowel sound. In the second example, you can see he is an honest man not he is a honest man because alphabet H in honor and honest is silent. In the third example, you can see there's a word user. Sounds like user, which begins with a consonant Y sound. So alphabet Y is a consonant sound. That's why I have used a article. It's a user. When we talk about indefinite articles, we talk about things in general and not in specific. For example, I need a phone and Mark wants a bicycle. A person is talking about a phone in general. He didn't specify. So he is telling us in general that he needs a phone. Mark wants a bicycle. Which bicycle? We do not know. A person is talking in general. He didn't specify. When we talk about the things that are new, unknown, or introduced to the listener for the first time, again, we are going to use indefinite articles. For example, I have a car and Tom is a teacher. In the first example, you can see that a person is telling in general that he or she has a car. So we do not know which car is he talking about. In the second example, we know that Tom is a teacher but we don't know that which subject is he teaching. With jobs or professions or nationalities and religions in singular, we are going to use indefinite articles. For example, John is a doctor and Mary is working as a school teacher. We know that Mary is working as a school teacher, but we don't know what subject is she teaching. When talking about nationalities and religions in singular, again, we are going to use indefinite article. For example, John is an American, she's a Chinese girl, and Kate is a Catholic. Now we are going to talk about definite article. Definite article. The definite article, the, is the most frequent word in English. We use the in sentences or clauses where we have to define or identify a particular person or object. Or when something is already mentioned. In the example, you can see that she scratched the red car parked outside. 
over here we know that there is a car parked outside and it's red in color so we are going to use which article definite article she scratched the red car parked outside when we refer to people or objects that are unique again we are going to use definite article for example, the sun rose at 6.17 this morning. Over here, the sun is unique. When we talk about ordinal numbers, refers to a number that indicates the position or order of things or objects, we are going to use definite article. For example, this is the third time I have called you today. When we talk about adjectives, to talk about groups of people, we are going to use definite article. For example, I think the rich should pay more taxes. The rich is, is, it's a group. That's why we have used definite article over here. When we talk about names of countries in the plural, plural mountain ranges or groups of islands, again, we are going to use definite article. For example, the United States, the Netherlands, the Himalayas. When we talk about names of well-known buildings, oceans, seas, rivers, and newspapers, we use definite article. For example, the Mediterranean Sea, the Atlantic Ocean, the Times, that is actually a newspaper. So with all these points, we are going to use which article? Yes, definite article, that is the. When we are going to talk about superlative degree of an adjective, we are going to use definite article. For example, he is the tallest boy in the class. So the tallest is superlative degree of an adjective. When we talk about names of hotels, restaurants and parks, we are going to use definite article. For example, we went to the Jinnah Park with our uncle. So Jinnah Park, it's a name of a park. So we are going to use which article? Yes, definite one. When we talk about seasons of the year, we can use them with or without definite article. For example, in summer, in the summer, both are correct. When not to use articles, when we talk about general ideas, plurals, or uncountable nouns, we don't use any article. For example, I have read stories about lions and tigers. Over here, lions and tigers are plural, so we are not going to use any article. When we talk about names of people, books, and plays, we don't use any article. For example, I have read Romeo and Juliet. It's a play, so we are not going to use any article. In the second example, as you can see, that I don't like Sarah. Sarah, it's the name of a person, so we are not going to use any article over here. In the third point, you can see lakes, single islands, continents, mountains, or planets. We don't use any article with them. For example, Lake Victoria, Jamaica, Asia, it's a continent, Mount Everest is a mountain, and planet Mars. With all these points, we are not going to use any article. When we talk about town, city, states, and countries, we don't use any article with them. For example, Cape Town, Islamabad, Dubai, Pakistan. Talking about sports, games, meals, and transport, we are not going to use any article. Cricket, breakfast, taxi. I hope you liked my presentation. Thank you.